This is Dave from Motiboto, and I'm super excited to announce the Motiboto update for Lightroom 6 and CC. Now, here's a spoiler alert. I do recommend Lightroom 6 to everybody because it is awesomer than Lightroom 5, especially if you have a new computer. Then it will take advantage of your graphics cards and it'll be a little bit speedier, although we do find that it still takes a while to snap into full focus in the develop mode. Okay. Now on to what's new and notable in Motibodo. Now, there's a couple of key things here. Key things, get it? And the most important is going to be the new Motibodo key legend. Dave, what's that? Let's move over to Lightroom, and I've got Motibodo rocking on here. And what you can do is press your command key down, and then press the question mark over here, and voila! This beautiful key legend pops out of nowhere so that you can reference the layout anywhere you are and bonus points you can use any keyboard that you want and if you memorize this layout like I have you can start Lightrooming by touch typing and freak everybody out because you are a workflow ninja so anytime you want just press command question mark and boom we've got the Motiboto key legend for you now besides that they've got another couple of features that I love and one thing that we've done is we've repurposed the keys that were originally vignette keys up and down and vignette midpoint because we have the new radial gradient since Lightroom 5, we kind of don't need these vignette keys anymore. So I thought, hmm, Dave, what can we do with those keys that would make them even better? And what I found was that we have brand new targeted adjustment tools that we've put into keys 7, 8, 9, 0. And what do they do? Well, just like the target adjustment tool that we have down here, these are very specific and you can work on the image without having to open pesky panels and deal with little sliders. So for example, number 7, and if you go to our legend here, that will open up the targeted hue. And then we've got saturation, luminance, as well as black and white mix all here. So let's Let's take a look and I know I don't have many pictures of people on this particular laptop so I'm gonna edit these steamed buns all right wait so now if I want to change the hue of the steam bun I just click on that button and I can drag on the image itself and you're looking that it turns more green and it turns more magenta well this would be perfect for skin tones if I had a picture of a person to get rid of those greens or get rid of too ruddy a skin you can do it right on the image and it only affects those tones. Ditto for the, uh, this is saturation now. So if I wanted to like go nuclear on the cucumbers, you could do that or whatever. Please, please, please do not spot color your images, um, even though you can very simply. And number nine, this key, if you take a look at our key legend again, that is the targeted luminance. And luminance is slightly different than the tone curve that we have down here. Um, but again, if you drag up and down, it only affects that particular region of lightness or darkness. Okay, very cool. Black and white mix is a little bit different. Once you hit it, it will turn your image black and white. Um, and then from there, you can drag on any tonality and make that deeper, richer, whatever you want. Um, I, I actually don't really like the way that they render the black and white with this key. Um, but again, we still have our black and white start preset that we're including. Hit that and then use that black and white midpoint. And you can do quite a bit of tailoring right on the image, which is amazing. Another thing that I want to talk about is the new gradient brush. And uh, right now, I'm going to go back to Lightroom. We're going to reset this baby. And if you were to draw a linear gradient, I'm going to just grab my linear gradient and say I want to burn something here. Burn, baby, burn. I press command and then my brush key and it'll toggle me to the new gradient brush tool. And what this allows me to do is paint in the darkness where I want it or if I press and hold the alt key, paint it off where I didn't want that gradient to land. So this is super powerful and it essentially gives you a gradient and a brush all in one tool that you could use for dodging or burning or whatever you want. So super awesome, super useful. And that's just a taste of what the new Motiboto can do. There's lots under the hood everything from new labels to more power advanced multi-image editing tools from mesh tool exposure toggling the sync blah 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 but that kind of gives you an idea of what we've done to this baby it is the best motiboto ever there's more details at motiboto.com thanks for watching happy motiboto and see you on the other side